thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know about the thumbnail this video is going to be on product regrets plus products that i'm excited about so if you're interested then just keep watching okay so before i get started i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way if you are a returning subscriber i love you thanks so much for returning if you're new here i am bridget on this channel i do skincare makeup with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to have you join the family all right so i'm going to talk about some regrets that i have and the products that i regret purchasing they they just really don't check off all the marks for me meaning they just don't do everything that they claim to do and a lot of them were a little bit on the pricier side so of course you know i just kind of regret the purchase i also have some products that i'm excited about using so of course i want to touch on those and also remember that I always have timestamps below so let's just go ahead and get started with the regrets all right so first up is a fragrance and this is the mason francis kirk john gold fluidity and let me tell you guys this smells really good i bought it for myself uh this particular fragrance is on the pricier side and before i bought this fragrance i looked at a lot of youtube videos uh, of women and i also noticed that men wore this fragrance and i just kind of chalked it up as you know it being that they were just the type of man that enjoyed wearing fragrances no matter if it was feminine or masculine so when i wore it once it kind of settled in with my body chemistry and things like that i felt as though it just kind of leaned more masculine but for me the straw that broke the camel's back was when i was with a group of friends and somebody said oh what guy in here has on that cologne it smells so so good and all of the other people the ladies in there they had a fragrance on but they named fruity fragrances so i just didn't say anything and i was like you know what this is just too masculine let me just pass it on to my husband so this is just going to fall under a product regret because for me it just kind of leans too masculine all right so next up i have the beekman 1802 buttermilk and this is the makeup melting cleansing balm so let me tell you the thing that really drew me into this particular melting balm was the ingredients you know i'm really a person who loves packaging and i really like uh, to get things that have a lot of good ingredients in it so that's what drew me to it i do like the packaging it's pretty different you know you get the little spatula uh, that you can keep on top and the little clear uh, jar that it's in it's really nice the only thing is is that this doesn't really take off my makeup it does however make my skin really really soft after i use it but i always need some assistance with this either uh, extra or either another cleansing balm or a soap or something it just doesn't quite do the job when you rinse it off it still has a bit of a film that you need to wash off okay with a different product so that's the reason that this is a regret for me and if i'm not mistaken this one was an up of forty dollars so I would say like if you aren't a heavy makeup wearer this would really be good and you you know you want all skincare that is going to have good ingredients in it and things like that I would say to add this but if you wear heavy makeup like a full face of makeup this one really wouldn't do it so that's why this one falls under a regret for me all right so next up I have a moisturizer and this is the look alive face moisturizer plus CBD this is the happy dance and it has a 150 mg CBD in it and comes in a package like this and I have to say you know um i read somewhere years ago that the reason companies put uh, fragrance in products is to mask um, the smell of the other ingredients and i think that might be what's lacking in here because the smell is is rank I, d I don't like it I, I can't get past the smell um so what i use this now um for is like a hand moisturizer or i keep it by my bed or i might put or use it as a foot moisturizer which it works really great but i just can't 
the smell is a very off-putting smell and I know you you might be like well maybe it's gone bad no it's not um, past the expiration date or anything like that it just some products just smell bad some and I think that's probably what happened here they didn't put the uh, a fragrance in it or some kind of essential oil or whatever something to mask this I think that had they done it I could have you know just kind of really um, seen what it was going to do on my skin but because of that total regret all right so next up I have a lip stain and you know I was intrigued by this when I saw it in Ulta so um, you know I picked it up because I have bought products lip products before where you know on one end you have the part that lines your lips and then the other end you have the part that uh, you fill in your lips which is essentially the color so here's why or here's where in my opinion this one gets uh, real funky and weird um, each side is like a felt tip um, okay so I get what they were trying to achieve here but this side of the felt tip when you try to you know line your lips um, it goes in so there's some kind of packaging malfunction also the little tips uh, they're like um, the type of tips that you get with eyeliner and to me that's just too thin to line my lips you know by my lips being bigger and the part that I um, line the lip is just too thin and the other part the stain when you put the stain in it's so sticky it's just sticky and gross and this has got to be the worst I don't like anything about this product you know some of the others you know yes you know here and there there could be one or two things that I like this one is horrible if you see the undone <laughs> you just gotta run the applicators are just horrible I mean I don't think that this was thought out very well all right so next up I have some deodorant and this is the new degree um, dry spray stress control um, one is 40 72 hours it says most Motion sense dry spray stress control and the other one is 48 hour antiperspirant and this is the other one so here's the deal with the heat these don't take you up even you know let alone 48 and 72 hours at the end of the day let's say in the morning at 8 o'clock I put it on by that evening 8 o'clock I'm gonna be, you know, not smelling my freshest. And I know you're like, girl, what are you doing? I, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just living life. But these two, you know, and it said new, and I'm like, oh, okay, 48 hours, 72 hours. Okay, let, let's give it a try. No, no, ma'am, no, sir. Um, <laughs> maybe half a day, I would say half a day for me, but major disappointment. And these little things are going up and up and up. Even in Wally World, they're getting so expensive. When I buy them, I like to buy them in bulk. And historically, I like the Sexy Intrigue um, fragrance. That fragrance mis mixed with my underarm uh, body chemistry or whatever, it never you know, will steer me wrong. But these two, uh, no, no, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. So that is it with the product regrets. And since we were just talking about deodorants, I want to talk about this product that a company sent me, okay, to use. And the company name is Each and Every. And these are a more healthier type of deodorant to use. And the scents that they have are lavender and lemon. Okay, they have citrus and vetiver and coconut and lime. So <laughs> coconut and lime, I wear this one to bed. My husband likes this scent. And the one that I like to wear out and about, you know, uh, is the lavender one. Let me put my glasses back on. The lavender and lemon. The lavender and lemon. So the reason that I say that these are healthier is because they don't contain the the aluminum they don't contain the baking soda and they don't contain the alcohol and the, when I apply these it 
just reminds me of kind of putting a moisturizer onto my skin. I've never, you know how when you put on a regular, let's say deodorant like this, um, and it gets on your clothes, it just kind of messes up your clothes and things like that. I haven't gotten that from this. So I can put this deodorant on from eight o'clock in the morning and wear it all day until about five o'clock, okay? And I would say that's about the best that these can do for me, okay? Because sometimes y'all, <laughs> Sometimes your girl just needs extra stuff, but I've tried taking it past uh, that mark and it was weird because one side of my underarm, under armpit was smelling suspect, but the other side wasn't. So I don't know how they do it uh, without adding the baking soda, the alcohol and the aluminum, uh, but they do it. It's really good for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, uh, they do have like little kits where you can go and buy it or you can buy it separately. And it's to me, it's just a solid product. It does have on the side. So it says on the side that it has no aluminum, no pair Parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, no gluten. It's cruelty free and vegan, and it is a plant uh, plant based packaging. So I really like it, and you know, so far that's my honest opinion. Since I've received these, I haven't even picked up the other ones because, um, you know, I don't know why it is like once uh, a normal deodorant has worn off for me, you know, I get a. It's kind of a a, a stenchy like a stench artificial type of situation going on. Whereas this one, even though, you know, I am starting to sm uh, smell suspect, it's a more natural type of suspect. I know you all are probably looking at me sideways and you don't know what I'm talking about, but that's just what I get. But definitely the eight hour mark, these are really hitting it and I love the different uh, scents that I sense that it has. So I have another product that was gifted to me by Dr. Dennis Groth. This is a moisturizer. So I'm going to tell you what I don't like about this moisturizer for my skin um, so far. Okay. Um, it, for it to be a moisturizer, it doesn't um, it's not giving me enough hydration and moisture. I will continue to use it to see if, um, if it's going to fulfill any of its claims. So this particular product is oil free. It's non comedogenic uh, moisturizer and it doubles as a serum. Um, and that's what it feels most like, but it says that it's a, um, it says that it's a moisturizer. Okay. And it says that it's a vitamin C and lactic acid, which work synergistically with centella asiatica and chaga mushroom extract to combat environmental aggressors, soothes and brings back skin youthful radiance. Okay. So it says that it's going to improve vis visible signs of aging, dramatically brighten and hydrate skin. So it says hydrate skin on its own. I'm just not getting that. I've always talked about how you at least need to use a product for 30 days uh, per Preferably, you know, skirt on into the realm of 60 to 90 days. I have not had the opportunity to use it that long, but I have had it long enough to tell you what I don't like about it. And that is, I don't find it to be hydrating enough. So yeah, that's what's going on with this one. You will hear more about it because I'll talk about it. Um, and, you know, let's be real, you all. People send me um, not every item that I own in my collection, but some things that are sent to me that they don't even reach you all because it's like it's you know it's just not up to par um, so I felt as though it would just be a good idea to show you all what I'm using okay and then after I've used it I can piggyback around and do you all, do a video and say hey guys you know mm, yes no you know or things like that all right so the next one is by Prey beauty and I'm not I'm sure I'm butchering that name and this is the 24k golden caviar wrinkle repair serum and it looks like this okay really pretty bottle it's plastic um, when you look at it you can see like a, a gold metallic light uh, situation going on very very nice um, now what I like about this one is this one feels so, so good. Um, when I applied it, I was thinking, what kind of sorcery is this? This is so, so um, 
so magical. When I applied it, it felt very silky, very hydrated, everything. I mean, so I'm thinking it's probably good, too good to be true. So I said, let me go and, and read it. Let, let's look at the ingredients, okay? So I looked at the ingredients, guys, and I did see some things that I didn't like. And, you know, I just have to share them with you. Um, I saw alcohol in this particular product. I saw fragrance and there was alcohol donate. And I think that came in third and I saw a fragrance. And um, some of the sorcery that I was feeling in this product was, um, it has an oil, a little bit of an oil, okay? Um, now, what I like about this is that this didn't aggravate my skin. Sometimes I can put on um, some skincare and, you know, I'll, let's say I walk to the kitchen. You know, I don't have a big house at all. So if I walk from my bath, my bathroom to the kitchen, do a little something, walk back, I'll have these little fine bumps. They're, they're everywhere. And that's my cue that, hey, this is not for me. And this is something that you don't want to share with, you know, the people uh, that watch you on the, y on the YT. This didn't do that. It felt really, really good. And even though it has an oil in it, um, uh, the oil is like a really fast absorbing oil. And after it, absor after it absorbs into your skin, your skin feels really nice and supple. So a lot of the times when I talk to y'all about alcohol, the name, fragrance, Okay, we don't know what's in fragrance. When I looked at the uh, fragrance on this particular item, it came, you know, near the bottom and the alcohol, it was like, third of above and alcohol that can be um, that can make your skin irritated so that's why a lot of people would probably want to run from that um, if you have sensitive skin but if you have normal skin um, that probably won't hurt you I mean you would have to decide um, how how that works for you but just let me quickly tell you what it has in it it's got the 24 karat gold it's got the hyaluronic acid vitamin C it's got the prairie oil it's got a Line Factor Technology, which jumpstarts the skin's, the skin's rejuvenation process, and it has pea and bamboo extract. So it's got a lot of good things in it, guys. Um, you would just have to decide if, um, you know, alcohol, donate, and fragrance, if that's something that, you know, you can bypass. Um, the texture is really, really nice on here, again, and it's really pretty. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. Those were all of my product regrets as well as some products that I'm excited about. Let me know if you've used any of these products down below and if so, let me know how well or not well they work for you. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.